All right, everybody, let's explore this old mine. Then go three, two, one. <laughs> Three, two, one, beep, beep. Doesn't it seem like we wait on Randy an awful lot? We're always waiting on Randy. Lights on, lights on, lights on. It wasn't, it was mixed. It was perfect, you nailed it. I could have done it better. Yep. All right. Then I'm ready to do a show. Ready to do a show? Yeah. Okay. You ready to do a show, Glenn? Let's do a show. Where are we going to start? Back at your knot or it's here? It's over here by the by the, by the the hole. All right. So where do you want me? Uh, let me get up there. All right. Tell me where you want me. Just over there. Just over there. That's nice. It's over there somewhere. <sighs> Sorry, Cly. <laughs> How's that, huh? Huh? Oh, let's see here. I need to make a, a quick little change. Okay. Oh, yeah, you got to move your microphone. Yeah. That don't work when I'm rappelling in that position. What if you hang it upside down there? Oh. That won't work either. No. Looks like that's what your guy would look like with a full beard. <laughs> that's my noodle beard. Yeah. Well, this is Gly, everybody. And this is abandoned and forgotten footage because... Because we're not quite ready yet to... We're not quite ready yet. <sighs> okay. He's looking ready, though. I'm getting there. Getting closer. Getting closer. We can't show any of this to your children. To your children. <laughs> Don't try this at home. Stay home. Do not try this at home. Watch our show instead. Yeah. Watch my show instead. Oh. Hey now. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Yep, that is going to be a problem. That may have to be moved over to the other wall. No problem. Okay. See, we got a the other giant uh, metal carbide bucket. tin. Yeah. Making racket. <clears throat> and my work bucket is going to have to get moved. Uh, uh, there's some old man noises for well, you. Well, I mean, we've just spent an hour setting up. We have. We have every right to make old man noises <laughs> because we had to put in our dead man, put in the proper knots, run the ropes, get everything ready to go. I mean, there's... Uh, plus, we had to crawl all down a mountainside. Plus, we had to crawl down a mountainside. So, yeah, this plus has been we, this has Plus, been we quite had to a, crawl up over a bunch of rubble and stuff just to get here. That's right. Okay, you want to do your show now? Are we ready to do my show? Anytime you'd like, sir. Okay, you are recording and everything looks honky-dory. Nothing's changed. Okay. All right. Uh, me... Stand by, stand by. Stupid microphone. All right. <coughs> and clear my throats of any. <coughs> particulates. One sip of water. Ah. Sorry, Gly. I know you're anxious to get down there, but hey. 
Yeah. I'm a little anxious. Be sure to put your constants, constants interruptus in your back pocket while I'm doing my intro. <laughs> oh my God. That's just rude. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> All right, put me in a good frame there. Make it look beautiful. Make it look like you want 100,000 people to see it. I'm an engineer, not a miracle worker. <laughs> Because by the time people see this video, I will be over 100,000. I know. Congratulations, Guy. All, All right. right. Uh, I'm recording everywhere, and uh, you're ready to start what you're doing in three, two, one. Beep. Beep. <laughs> and here we go. Well, that don't sound good. <clears throat> I just heard Glide down there, and he says, Whew. boy, look at all that stuff came down. He wants his stuff. He's coming back for his stuff. I gotta get back over to the hole, quick. That's what got me spooked out in here in the first place. It's just a spooky mine. And Gly went down this and here. He's down at supposedly a uh, hundred foot level. Apparently we're at the 40. Isn't that cool? And it goes down 900 feet. Before I started doing this, that was an unfathomable number of feet to be underground. But I made the mistake of following, following Gly around a year and a half or so ago, and it kind of took off. I can overcome it being spooky. Um, when I'm in here, I can overcome it being spooky. But it still wakes me up in the night. I figure if I keep doing it, uh, eventually uh, I will overcome my fear of claustrophobia. Or I've overcome my claustrophobia. But I got it bad, believe it or not. <laughs> On the other hand, it's awful pleasant right here. Nice and cool, no wind. No cares of the world. Quiet. Void of any noise. This is kind of more along the lines of what I might want my little show to be about, abandoned and forgotten footage, because I wind up sitting outside of places like this often, waiting to hear a scream or get a huge, terrific blast of foul air blasting across me. <laughs> Let me know that I touched something off in there or something. <laughs> But it's probably been 20 minutes I've been sitting in this spot. Glides down about 70 feet, 60 feet on ladders. He says he thinks I'll be able to get through, but he's going to check it out first. This is a spooky mine. I've got, I've got an uneasy feeling about this place. I believe I'm leaning against the hanging wall and the foot wall's on this side. That's the vein they were after, I guess. Beautiful colors in it. 
Well, I would know. The geology of this mine is uh, spooky on account of it. it's a tungsten mine. And they're known for really bad air and um, a lot of rot. They have to use a lot of uh, timbering and wood and stuff to support everywhere that they worked. And this stuff's so uh, porous that it uh, it swells and causes, uh, see all this stuff was up there and now it's down here. Okay guys, let's explore this old mine. That was just beautiful. You do realize that in your first sentence that you had butt and hole in the same <laughs> sentence, right? I guess I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gly. Let's get a little spooky in here. I suppose he's been gone 10 minutes or so. Oh, that was a wet one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he ought to get some of that. See how the air is just, it's breathing here. 